Deep beneath the rolling hills of Appalachia, something is stirring. A silent geological giant, largely unknown, poorly understood, and dangerously underestimated. Known as the East Tennessee Seismic Zone, this hidden fault system stretches from Alabama through Tennessee and into Virginia, quietly releasing tremors almost every week. But experts believe it could be hiding something far more dangerous. A magnitude 7.5 earthquake here could flatten entire cities, cripple infrastructure, and send shockwaves across half the U.S. Unlike the famous San Andreas, this fault doesn't announce itself. No surface ruptures, no dramatic headlines, just silent stress building, year after year. So how likely is a catastrophic quake in the heart of the South? And why are scientists so worried about this quiet fault system? Let's dive deep into the invisible danger beneath Appalachia. Would you feel safe living above an invisible fault line like this? Drop your thoughts in the comments then let's uncover why this zone has scientists quietly alarmed. So where exactly is this threat hiding beneath what seems like peaceful farmland and small towns? The East Tennessee Seismic Zone stretches nearly 300 miles from northeastern Alabama through Tennessee and into Virginia. It also radiates seismic influence into parts of Georgia, Kentucky, and the Carolinas. But here's the twist. This isn't a fault line like you'd find in California. It's buried hidden deep within the North American plate, far from any tectonic boundary. These are not new cracks in the earth. They're ancient scars, remnants from a time when supercontinents like Pangaea were colliding. Geologists believe they trace back to a massive subterranean structure called the New York-Alabama lineament, essentially a fossilized fault system, hundreds of millions of years old. Even though these faults don't break the surface, they're still active. Earthquakes here typically originate 3 to 25 kilometers underground, inside rigid, dense rock that transmits seismic energy far more efficiently than the fractured crust out west. And that's what makes this so dangerous, because even small tremors in this region can be felt across multiple states. But while the faults are old, the data is new, and what scientists are seeing in the seismic record is raising serious concerns. For most people, earthquakes in the eastern U.S. sound like science fiction, but this fault has already shaken millions, just not in ways the media tends to remember. On November 30th, 1973, a magnitude 4.7 earthquake hit near Alcoa, Tennessee. Though moderate in size, it was shallow and felt throughout the entire Knoxville area. It triggered over 30 aftershocks, some just hours apart. Then in 2003, a 4.6 magnitude quake struck near Fort Payne, Alabama. This time, the damage was visible. Windows shattered, chimneys collapsed, Water systems were disrupted. Thousands reported feeling it as far as Atlanta. And further back, in 1916, Irondale, Alabama was rattled by an event estimated to be magnitude 5. Though records are scarce, eyewitnesses described widespread panic and shaking felt for miles. But here's where things get serious. Modern trenching studies, where scientists literally dig into fault lines, have revealed something far more terrifying. Evidence of at least two prehistoric magnitude 6.5 earthquakes in this zone within the last 40,000 years. These weren't micro tremors. They were surface rupturing, city destroying level events. And because they happened so long ago, most people don't even realize they occurred. So when people say, but we've never had a big one in my lifetime, that's not comfort, that's a countdown. And recently, that clock may have just ticked forward in May of 2025, the quiet East Tennessee fault line made headlines for the wrong reason. A magnitude 4.1 earthquake struck near Greenback, Tennessee, just 30 miles south of Knoxville. It lasted less than 10 seconds, but it was felt by tens of thousands. Within the first hour, over 23,000 people submitted reports to the U.S. Geological Survey. That number would eventually double. Shaking was reported as far as Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. For many in Atlanta, this was their first earthquake ever. No injuries were reported, no buildings collapsed. But what followed was even more telling. Dozens of small aftershocks all clustered around the same fault segments. Greenback, Mascot, Athens, and Knoxville. Like echoes of a larger event. Since 2005, more than 13,000 earthquakes have been recorded in this zone. Most were too small to feel but they paint a clear picture. This fault isn't asleep. It's active, constantly shifting, adjusting, loading. And the 2025 Greenback quake, it now ranks among the top five ever recorded in the region. But here's the chilling part. 
If a magnitude 4.1 quake was felt across multiple states, what happens when the next real one hits? The scariest earthquakes aren't always the loudest. Sometimes they're the ones that give you years of warning, and no one listens. Could the next catastrophic U.S. earthquake strike Tennessee? According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the answer is yes. And not just a maybe, a major event here could reach magnitude 7.5. A quake of that size wouldn't just impact Tennessee. Because seismic waves travel farther through the dense eastern crust, the shaking could reach Kentucky, Georgia, Virginia, even parts of the Midwest. Millions of people, hundreds of cities, many with buildings never designed for seismic forces. The damage would be catastrophic. Bridges could collapse, water systems would rupture, power grids could go offline for days. Critical facilities, like the Oak Ridge National Laboratory or the Tennessee Valley Authority dams, would be under massive strain. And in the mountainous terrain of Appalachia, landslides and road cutoffs could isolate entire towns. Then comes the secondary disaster, blocked rivers, breached dams, flooding, and total grid failure. Emergency response, severely limited. Roads gone, communication lines jammed. Models suggest a rare but powerful earthquake in this zone could cause tens of billions of dollars in damage and leave thousands dead or injured. And all of it, from a fault that most people don't even know exists, so if the risk is this real, why haven't we prepared? Thankfully, this fault hasn't gone completely unnoticed. Scientists and emergency agencies have been watching it for decades, quietly building a picture of what might come next. The Center for Earthquake Research and Information, based in Memphis, plays a central role. Alongside the Central U.S. Earthquake Consortium, a group of eight states, they operate dense seismic networks, map underground stress zones, and run predictive models New tools, like AI-driven seismic detection and satellite crust movement tracking, have revealed thousands of microquakes that were previously undetectable. Each one is a whisper from below, a signal that the fault is very much alive. On the ground, state agencies, like the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency, are promoting safety awareness. Public earthquake drills, infrastructure mapping, and community outreach are all part of the plan. You've probably heard of the Great Shakeout event. It happens every year but most people don't participate. The problem isn't a lack of science, it's a lack of action. Many critical buildings haven't been retrofitted, bridges still sit vulnerable, and public readiness remains dangerously low. The tools to see it coming are improving, but without real-world changes, upgraded codes, public drills, and emergency systems, this silent threat could still catch us completely off guard. The East Tennessee seismic zone is quiet, but quiet doesn't mean safe. Every tiny tremor, every unseen shift beneath the Appalachian crust, it's not a release, it's a reminder, a signal that stress is still building. In geologic terms, it's not a matter of if, but when. The last truly massive quakes in this region happened thousands of years ago. That's more than enough time for the fault to reload and strike again. Scientists are watching. Emergency planners are trying. But as of now, millions still live in unreinforced homes. Schools and hospitals remain unprepared, and power, water, and fuel systems remain tightly interdependent and deeply fragile. If you live in Tennessee, Kentucky, or anywhere near this zone, you might not think of earthquakes, but the earth beneath you has a very different memory. The ground doesn't give advance notice. When this fault moves again, it may reshape not just a region, but history. Stay aware, stay prepared, and if you found this breakdown valuable, drop a comment. Let us know where you're watching from, because awareness is the first step toward resilience.